Well, joining me now is Dr. Jerome Lisk with Christus Trinity Clinic and Neuroscience Institute. He's here to talk a little bit about Parkinson's disease, but specifically tell us really what a movement disorder specialist is. We'll start there. So a movement disorder specialist is a neurologist that does extra training after residency that sees Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, and other movement disorders mainly involving tremor or abnormal movement of the body. Mm -hmm. So when we say Parkinson's disease, what does that mean? What does that include? So Parkinson's disease, they usually have about four symptoms. Uh, slowness of movement is like the, is the primary symptom. That's usually called bradykinesia. Okay. It's our fancy medical word for that. Um, also tremor it could, it could also be present. Okay. Now they can have tremor or they could not have tremor. So you don't need tremor to have Parkinson's disease. Huh. Uh, also, uh, postural instability or problems walking, and usually that's because that's um, shown as either shuffling or actually losing your balance and falling. And also stiffness of the muscles, rigidity. Mm -hmm. So do we even really know what causes Parkinson's then? No, we don't. Yeah. What we do know is there's this abnormal protein called alpha synuclein. And this protein is produced by a gene, the protein misfolds, and the protein can then not do its function. And this okay. protein builds up in cells, and when it does that, the cells say, okay, now it's time to die. And you start losing these cells that produce dopamine over time. Mm -hmm. And really with Parkinson's too, I feel like it's kind of a slow onset then, right? Yes, it yeah. is a slow onset. And what we're learning is that people could have Parkinson's in their brain, for maybe 12 or 20 years what? before they have any physical symptoms. Okay. And we call that premotor symptoms. And that involves REM sleep behavior disorder where they're fight, acting out their dreams in their sleep, mm -hmm. swinging and hitting or rolling out of bed. And some people may mistake that for nightmares. And it's not nightmares, okay? Yeah. Uh, decreased sense of smell, that may give you a 60, 70% risk of Parkinson's. Constipation also. So are there, is there any way to get ahead of this then? You know, the way to get ahead of it is if you recognize signs where you're walking slower, grandma, mm -hmm. grandpa's walking slower, don't blame it on old age. Uh, and this is happening and it looks a little abnormal. People are having a little bit more difficulty processing information because Parkinson's could involve non-physical things. Mm -hmm. Difficulty thinking, processing information, uh, also the GI tract, swallowing. So if you have some slowness of movement and someone's shuffling their feet mm -hmm. and they start taking shorter steps Pay attention and they to may that. have tremor on one side of the body that could be Parkinson's disease and you don't want to confuse that with essential tremor yeah. which is another tremor disorder. Okay so really quick before we go if people have Parkinson's disease I mean what can we do as far as treatment or to make their life as livable as possible as best as possible? Okay so the first thing that we do is if someone comes in they have Parkinson's disease we do tell them to exercise. Mm -hmm. I tell people every day that exercise is like taking medicine and it can improve your symptoms 30 50 percent. Wow okay. Now when someone comes in with Parkinson's symptoms we do tell them there's more than one type of Parkinson's disease. There's Lewy body dementia that Robin Williams yeah. passed away with. There's multiple system atrophy and progressive supernuclear palsy in others. Okay. And sometimes medications cause it. So we have to do look at the medications as well. And we could give medications like Cinemet, uh, and there's other classes of medications. That can help with it. And there's new medications that have come out in the last three years, and research is really booming. Okay, thank you so much, Doctor. Appreciate it. Thank you.